Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra. Today in Shiksha Mantra, we are going to discuss about a topic which is really very very essential for your learning of English grammar or you may say for your learning of English in general. But what's the topic? Why it's so very important? Obviously, uh, you want to learn it. So let's uh, find out why it's so much important. Suppose uh, you have these words written somewhere on, down or up or uh, over. So the words like this. If I ask you, hello to your students, just tell me what parts of speech these are. Pause the video and write it down there in the comment section. I know most of the students would uh, consider them as proposition. So that would be your answer in most of the cases. You would say, sir, these are proposition. Now, if I say, no, these aren't propositions, rather, these are adverbs. Now, what you will say? You'll say, sir, how uh, are the adverbs? Obviously, they aren't adverbs. How could they be adverbs from right from our childhood? We have learned that these are propositions. So now you are saying these are adverbs. These aren't adverbs. Up, dear friends. Remember, these words are very, very elusive. These words are very elusive. Why elusive? Because when they are used in a sentence, they may change their functions. And you know, for parts of speech, the function of a word is very important. We consider a verb and we consider their parts of speech according to the functions they are performing in a sentence. So first you have to find out what functions they are performing in that sentence and only then you could decide whether they are proposition or adverb. Isn't it very much interesting? So let's uh, begin our discussion and find out whether they are propositions or adverbs. So just have a look at this slide, what's written here. Sometimes words you might think of as propositions act like adverbs. Here again, you would say this point is very important. They act like adverbs. I'm not saying they're adverbs. They act like adverbs. So what's, what's your goal? Why are you listening to this discussion? We must have a clear answer. Why are you listening to it? You are listening to it because you would learn how are they adverbs. So I'm not saying they're adverbs. I'm not saying they're propositions. I'm saying they act like adverbs. So first, you have to find out how are they acting like adverbs. What is acting like adverbs? It's also very simple. To know it, you have to learn the adverbs first. Here, obviously, we are going to have a, a discussion, a short discussion regarding adverbs. But if you are really interested and you want to learn more about adverbs, here you have to click the I button. There I have placed the link. We have discussions on adverbs, several discussions and very uh, important, very valuable discussions here in this channel. You may consider them go through them you may listen to them and you'd learn a lot about adverbs actually you'd become a master of adverbs you if if you follow those discussions here in this channel but what is the key factor for adverb the key factor for adverb is that they are modifying a verb okay so modifying a verb they act like an adverb so we still call it proposition. Still, we mix the things up. Still, we don't find out whether they are adverbs or proposition. 
So here we would have a discussion and obviously we are going to share some tricks. Very simple tricks. Probably uh, it's, it's very uh, difficult for you. You are thinking that uh, obviously it's a very difficult thing to find out whether they are adverbs or propositions. But we would have some tricks here and with these tricks very easily you can find them out. But before we proceed to that discussion, it would be better for us to have a look at these two sentences. Get inside the castle. So inside, this is our targeted verb. Now have a look at it. After inside, there comes a noun, or it's better to say a noun phrase, a castle. So inside, if you consider the sentence without the castle, get inside. Get inside. Have a look at it. Get inside. So what's the result? Get inside what? Get inside the castle. Get inside what? Get inside the castle. So here, the castle walks as an object to this inside. So it's proposition. And again, for this sentence, get inside. Inside what? You don't have an answer. So get where? Inside. So this is modifying the verb get and this is an adverb. So that's how we may find out what a proposition and which one is an adverb in a sentence. You want more clarification, no? But before we start, discussing detail about it just remember one thing ask the word with what if you get the object you consider would be for preposition i'm not saying it's preposition definitely but it's going to be a preposition probably but why is this confusion here so uh, in this slide would get the detail about it if a word has an object, obviously, with an object, it's mostly treated as preposition, but an adverb doesn't have an object. So this is what the most important thing, object. So your task is to find out whether this has an object or not. Now consider the first sentence, my school bus just went past. My school bus just went past. When past what? Ask it with what? When past whom? Ask it with whom? So for what and whom you don't get an answer. So it doesn't have an object. That's why this is an adverb and it's modifying the verb when. So very simple this is. It doesn't have an object. So this is an adverb. Now. For this sentence, my brother just drove past us. So drove past whom? You would get an answer here. Drove past whom? Us. This is the answer. So you have an object here. So obviously, whom gets an answer. So it with an object, it's a proposition. It's very simple. So for an adverb, it modifies a verb. We have learned it. The function is modifying a verb. And for proposition, in my discussions regarding propositions, I have told you for several times that propositions means pre plus position. So it takes position before a noun or a pronoun. So when it takes position before a noun or pronoun, here in this case a pronoun, that means an object it gets and the pronoun or the noun gets related to the rest of the sentence, we consider it as proposition. It's so very simple. Just find out whether it has an object or not. If it has an object, it's proposition. If it doesn't have an object, it's adverb. And finding out the object is so very simple. Just do one thing. Just do one thing. Ask it with water whom to get the object. That's it. 
we have some other trick to follow here as well and to learn the trick you have to listen to this this part it's also very important for here would learn a lot about handling these problem the problem is i've told you now whenever we get an object and uh, whenever we don't get an object we have two cases here two scenarios so when there's a noun after it mostly it's considered as a proposition but i'm not saying always rather i'm saying mostly now why mostly because sometimes they are not propositions rather an adverb even with an object or it's not object even with a noun or pronoun after it so how it's possible it's possible for phrasal verbs because in phrasal verbs the adverb is defining or describing what i'm defining or describing the verb and it's not the object we makes thing confused with object though they are not but how just have a look at these examples he looked up her number he looked up her number looked what her number no it's not connected so up looked up what don't have an answer so her number this is not an object but it's noun it's noun phrase there's no confusion it's noun phrase but it's not an object rather up it's considering the verb looked because the package look up look up searching he is searching he searched for her number so this up is related to the verb though it gets an object like things or look alike of an object a noun or a pronoun but this is not an object so it's adverb and not proposition next consider the next sentence the class president called off the meeting called off the meeting the same case here as well called off it's a package it's modifying the verb and not the noun after it so it's adverb next you should check the schedule out out it doesn't have an object after it doesn't have a noun after it it's adverb there's no confusion so very simple this is now your task is just to consider properly whether it has an object or not whether it's describing the verb or it's relating the noun or the pronoun with the sentence this only considering this you can very easily find out whether this is a proposition or an adverb but before we come to the final point to the judgment we have to consider these sentences as well so what is written here the bold jar came hurtling down the hill now you would ask the question down what you would get the answer hill the hill its object that's why its proposition there's no confusion now the next sentence the team was sorry oh yeah i'm right the team was two goals down by half time the team was two goals down the goals down so it's it's a position where they are they are two goals down the winning team is two goals up and the losing team is two goals down so it's actually modifying the verb and down is an adverb and it's not a preposition and here we have a list obviously i would put that list in the description as well so that you could very easily find out and list them up and prepare so this is the complete list of 
verbs which can be considered as prepositions or adverb if properly considered in person so when you properly consider you would get that these words can be used both as an adverb as well as a proposal so this is the list you may note them down or you would find them in the description as well so let's check what's waiting for us next okay so here also we are talking of a challenge yes dear friends life is but a challenge wherever you go a challenge is always waiting for you so here also a challenge that rises even further if such dual words are a constituent of phrasal verbs so with phrasal verbs the the confusion can considered again the confusion continues again so how it is because we have some words here in these sentences where you have to take the decision whether they are adverb or preposition it's like exercise let's do it the police clamped down on drug trafficking clamped down so clamped down it comes together like a phrasal verb so down with down verb clamp it's a phrasal verb so this is an adverb there's no confusion and after it on is used as a preposition for this is the object of on and not clamped down clamped down what you don't have an answer but clamped down on what on drug trafficking so this is the object of a preposition so down is adverb and on is preposition that means in some sentences you would get them together side by side an adverb as well as a preposition so you have to consider you have to find out you have to use the proper trick to get whether they are adverb or preposition and if you consider whatever i have said and if you remember the tricks i'm using here the trick regarding the object i'm sure you aren't going to get down anywhere in finding out whether these words are used as prepositions or adverbs so that's it from the discussion today we are returning very soon with another very important discussion regarding english grammar till then bye bye happy learning